stay tuned to see how we get all of this hair into this wig. Hey guys, I'm Miss Lorraine Lee 11. Now the trick isn't necessarily how I get all this hair into the wig. I'm just reviewing this wig. I bought it with my own money and I want to show you guys. Seeing as you love my pic on Instagram where I had my short pixie wig, which I cut myself by the way. So I've ordered a new one because the old one is kind of seen its day. So we're gonna get this hair away, we're gonna put it away and we're gonna put it under the wig. That's right guys, you guessed it. The secret is cameras, coros or braid plat. <laughs> That's the secret guys of how I get my hair into a pixie wig. So I have to do fairly small plaits, but this is not the basis of the video. I'm gonna style the pixie wig. First of all guys, what you will need is a wig cap just to keep your hair up and out of the way. You're gonna need some styling mousses, which one of your choice. You're gonna need a brush. You're gonna need edge control, a hair dryer or straighteners, depending on how you want the hair to look. Okay guys, so hard part out of the way, the cane rows are done. If you do want to see how to braid for beginners, I have got a video on that, which you can click at the end. However, this is not a braid tutorial. This is a wig styling tutorial, pixie wig at that. First, you're gonna wanna take your stocking cap and just fit all that hair into it. So you're gonna wanna pull your hair up at the back. And what I like to do is to hold it over my hand like so, put it on top of my head and hold the hair in place and then pull the wig cap, stocking cap, down around like this. Now, what I love about this particular wig, guys, it's not a lace front wig. So there's no gluing involved. There's no hairspray involved. There's no adhesive involved. So what I like to do, so I don't get too much of that bumpy, rigid, that bump. I like to kind of spread my plaits out a little bit, okay? Here's the fun part. So I'm going to give you two looks. So this is the wig that I bought. I bought it with my own money. This is not a sponsored video. It's human hair. It was 12 pounds from AliExpress. Not even if you want, I know you're gonna want. I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description box. So it has no combs, which is fine because these elastic clips at the back, they're strong enough to keep the wig on. You don't feel it slipping. What I tend to do, I do a weird test just to make sure it's not gonna slip off my head. So once I've got the wig on, I like to go like that, raise my eyebrows to see how far it will lift. Once it stops lifting, that's where it needs to be. And also on the air pieces, which are here, inside it feels like it's got rigid metal that you can bend it. If you are familiar with wigs or if you're a regular wig wearer, you may know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna show you a nice, flat, simple, classic pixie look. Let's just put the wig on. And what I like to do, so as you can see, I've got the bump there. I like to make it secure around the bump. So already, the wig feels good. So already it's styled because I was wearing it on the school run this morning. <laughs> However, I'm going to show you how to style it. So as you can see, as I said, I've got the bump here. What I like to do now is spread my cameras out just a little bit so it looks less bumpy. I'm gonna show you classic look. So what you're gonna do is we're just gonna take your brush, just brush down your hair, Okay, let me do the eyebrow test. Yeah, no, it's not moving. <laughs> so already we've got a nice, classic, sleek look. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna use some setting mousse. I've got two choices of mousse. I like this one because it gives it a nice little crunch hold, but I think this one's better for the next look I'm gonna show you. This one, even though it says volume, this one gives me a nice, softer, softer look, there you go. This wig I recommend for those of you who want a protective style and you are not familiar with wigs or you may want to cut your hair and you're not sure if you want to do that right now. I do enjoy my wig, however, I am missing my curls a little bit so that's telling me I'm not ready to cut my hair. This is what I've got going on so far. Let's work on the edges. You don't need to use edge control, it is down to you. It's just for personal preference if you do want a bit more hold. So what I like to do guys, you don't necessarily have to do this, but what I did do last night, I slept with it on because I just wanted to get up and go, but I had my head scarf wrapped around it so it was nice and styled. And take the comb. But as I said, guys, it's not a lace wig, so there is no parting, there is no scalp there. So you're just gonna have to be a bit careful. So you get a simple classic look to the side. Oops. Okay, this is a quick, simple look. This is what I've got so far. Right, I'm just gonna show you the back. I just want to make the back look a bit more styled. So 
So guys, if you do want to get rid of this bump, if your hair's not as long as mine, I think it'd be easier if you maybe put it in three, four plaits and a wig cap over it. Moving on to style number two, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start messing up my hair because I want it to look edgy. So this is all you have to do, just kind of massage the hair. So I brush this bit down and brush this bit back. So it kind of looks like there's a part in there. Just so it gives it a bit more shape. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, to make it a bit more edgy, I'm going to blow dry it. So you can either use the straighteners for this bit and kind of curl the hair so it kind of looks a bit more spiky. However, I found that I got a good effect with the hair dryer. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn it on hot heat because it's not on my actual hair. I'm loving it already. In fact, I'm preferring this style. But it's obviously more spiky. If you do want the more curled look, you can use the straighteners. I haven't got my straighteners to hand right now, otherwise I would show you. But I think you get the drift, guys. Right, let me just do the back a little bit more. Doesn't look that bad at all. Hold on, let me put some more mousse on the front. So let me use this one because it gives it that spiky hold. Sorry guys, I have literally got a mirror over there, there, there. <laughs> Vein much. Very nice. So once it dries, then I will start to just kind of like fluff it out a little. Okay, so edge control. I think we're gonna use some edge control for this style. Just so it looks a little bit more natural. There you go. All done, that is it guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was short and sweet. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys for showing me your love and I will see you in the next one. Bye.